Hello guys! Christmas has come early! This is Rome 2 Total War. Or actually, it's kind of, it's the other way around. It's Total War Rome 2. But I'm not used to the term, but oh my god! It's finally here, and uh, I'm a bit, I have a bit of a cold, so I'll already uh, excuse myself for that. And uh, I left school a bit early because I, I'm actually a bit, I'm feeling a bit sick. Maybe it's because I've been up all night waiting for this moment. Um, but but yes, it's it's been a few hours since the release, and uh, we're not gonna pr play the prologue campaign. We're going to go directly into a new campaign, and I actually like the interface. This is beautiful. So new campaign, and I might have to change the settings at some point uh, to see if it uh, not not the difficulty. I mean the graphic settings. I don't know how this is gonna run on my computer. My computer is pretty good, so uh, I'm expecting Ultra should run fine. I hope. But yes, Epirus. That's what we're gonna be playing. So of course we're gonna be playing Greek states. This is a DLC that uh, most of us got if you pre-ordered. Uh, if you don't, you have to buy that separately. But here we have Sparta, Epirus, and Athens. I'm gonna go straight to Epirus, and uh, I'll rule, uh, read this out. Uh, the Greek-speaking kingdom of Epirus is ruled by the Molotian Achidae, Achidae uh, dynasty, who claim descent from Achilles and the they Damea. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna butcher everything Greek. They are certainly warlike enough to be sons of Achilles. The Epirots are now fortunate in their choice of rivals. They can re uh, rescue Magna Grecia from the Roman yoke or look to take on Macedon and the rest of Greece. Hmm. Guardians of the Dona. Public order bonus. We get a public order bonus uh, because of the Hellenic culture. Hellenic mistrust. Mistrust. We get diplomatic penalty with all. Hellenic factions and village confederation plus 10% wealth from all minor settlements. That's an Epirus only thing. So I'm gonna have my difficulty on hard, actually, uh, because I'm the kind of person. Ooh, campaign settings. Okay, I don't like battle limit. I'm not gonna have battle realism. I want to pause if I need. And the advisor help will be low. And I'll see the AI moves and. Uh, Victory conditions, military, yada yada yada. Maintain 140 units total. What? Oh my god. For 40 naval units, 140 settlements. That's like the entire map, almost. Economic victory, 90 settlements, and uh, six pro these six provinces. Oh, whatever. We'll, s we'll look at it later. I, I just want to jump into this right now so much, you have no idea. Start campaign. An honest man is always a child. Socrates, Greek philosopher, 469 to 399 before Christ. Yes, a wise man indeed. <coughs> ah, this is I. I re oh my God. Well, here we go, guys. I hope the graphics uh, allow me. Ul Ultra is like I could run. I, I might run extreme, but my processor isn't that. That great. It's a uh, an i3 uh, core overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz, which is pretty decent. I mean, it's not, but it's not an i7 or an i5. Or it might wait. I might have an i5. I don't know. I don't remember. Ah. Okay, this is taking a bit of a loading time. Don't worry. Don't worry. This is like ten the tension before stuff happens oh here we go here we go yes come on come on no hello oh. your time has come let's listen recent setbacks in Magna Graecia compelled you to establish power on the Greek mainland the Spartans think themselves superior to all others they will know otherwise once you lay waste to their lands the Athenians have become weak and would rather prattle than fight wars. They will fall in time, but may be of use against their Macedonian masters. The scions of Alexander still fancy themselves worthy of his empire and must be stopped. Perhaps then a mass invasion of the Italian peninsula. You have unfinished business with Rome and Syracuse. The enemies of Epirus will be subdued. 
Ooh, here we go. Objective issued. One, audacious blah blah blah, and you equip this. Uh, ascent to my bold undertakings. From humble beginnings come great things. Uh, you take your first step and establish a foothold from which you launch your people to greatness. Completely you control two provinces, either by direct ownership or through client, state, and military alliances. Uh, allies. New bonus objectives. Treasury plus 2,500. Okay, so, uh, where do I begin? The, the map is absolutely ginormous and it's beautiful. It stretches all the way, how do I, can I scroll all the way from like, Sweden, where I am, Stockholm, let's see. Of course Stockholm didn't exist at its time, but it's over here. And now we have Scotland, all the way from Scotland down. Um, okay, let, let's just zoom away, or like, our way through, uh, through the world. I'm just going diagonally. There's my provinces. I have Larissa and Apollonia. And then we can go all the way to the east. This is uh, Iraq here. And now into Persia. We're gonna go all the way to Afghanistan and Pakistan. Yeah, there we go. There, that's the border. So, uh, where do I start? Okay, so Epirus is uh, the king of Epirus, Pyrrhus. I think he's still alive by this time. Can I check that somewhere? Objectives, trade and finance, technology, diplomacy. I think diplomacy should be... In order to construct a proposal, double-click on a faction from the list. Yeah, shut up. I know. I, I've played Total War, Total War before. Uh, event messages, forces, provinces, factions. And turn, what's this? Toggle strategic overview. No, okay. Chat, Total War Encyclopedia, and Advisor Menu. Ah, so this is okay. But uh, Pyrrhus of Epirus, one of the great generals of the time, uh, ha described by Hannibal. He, he was the king of Epirus, and he tried to fight uh, the Romans. He tried to, uh, you know, save... Or like control the southern peninsula and then maybe even defeat Rome. He tried to take Syracuse and oh, he did so much stuff, uh, but he failed <laughs> every every time basically. Um, yes, what else? What else? There, there's a lot of stuff that Pyrrhus did, and finally in his final years that we we encounter it ourselves in, he was in a war with Sparta. He tried to conquer them, and he failed because he died down in Sparta, or in another town, but it's not represented on this map, obviously. Who's this? Can I actually... okay, whatever. Aha, okay, so... How can what, what, what should I do? Subterfuge experts. Oh my, shut up. Okay, so this is one of my armies. We hunger for battle! This is, uh... How do I see the, his name? Details. This panel shows you the information ah. about a character belonging to your faction. Shh. Okay, so this is uh, founded by Pyrrhus, and it's the army, his army. Location of Polonia, years of service 2, commanders 2. Pyrrhus, victories, defeat 0. Okay, interesting. And I can choose emblems. I, I don't know which emblem to choose from, though. Oh, I only have, like, one. Uh, I'll choose the first one. Whatever. Uh, then we have the yes. navy. Davos. Yes, the commander is Davos. And I can look at the general's details. I can, I can actually upgrade generals, and they have different skill sets and things, which I'll come to As learn. As the main administrative center in a region. Oh my god, shut up. Sorry, but it's true. She's a bit annoying. Okay, you. That's your command. What's your name? Uh, Esebius, right? Yeah, Esebius. All right, uh, and I can. Oh yeah, I can actually rename each each army or Ready each for navy. Battle. See, these are the brave companions, uh, and those were the grace, the grace. What? Whoops. Commander. The Griffins, 
Jaguars. Yeah, whatever. And this fleet is fleet the Heralds of Glacius. Gla Glacus, yes. Oof. <clears throat> so where do I begin? I'm at war with... Okay, we, if we go to diplomacy, we can see that we're at war with Sparta. And Macedon poses a big threat to us, I think. Honestly. Uh, and so, personally, I would want to maybe try to make Macedon on a ta have them on our friendly side. However, Sparta we must crush at all costs. Athens can also be crushed on our way there. But we have to make sure Macedon... Greetings in the name of Hermes! Oh, Speak, okay. but do not deceive with tricky rhetoric, false logic, or cloying pathos. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna try to get a uh, trade agreement with them. This option is used to broker trade agreements. Once agreed, a trade route is opened between your territory and that of your trade partner, enabling goods to be traded for mutual advantage and profit. There is no limit to the number of trade routes a faction can have. Okay, they rejected your my offer. Deceitful merchants. Mm, are you at war? You're at war with... Uh, unknown, okay. What if I... Okay, okay. Join war against... No, I, you just, I don't know who who's over there, so I can't join your war. On. Hmm, strange. Hmm. If... Okay, if we get a trade agreement... No, I need... What if we... Alliance... This option is used to broker military alliance. Shh. Why is she... Join war again? No, okay. It's not gonna work, I think. Uh, let's see if Rome has anything to say about us. They don't like us, and Carthage doesn't either. Let's see what Macedon, why Macedon dislikes it. So, we're, they're neutral towards us, and they have a value of three because gifts, we, we've given gifts to Macedon, we've have we have treaties with Macedon, so that gives us 43, and then negative sides, cultural aversion, military actions against Macedon, and the war with Sparta. Well, I don't really see much I can do. However, we're gonna try to improve our cities already. Uh, so, this is I can fo see my food tokens. This is just like. Uh, Shogun Chu, if you guys have played it, so Shogun Chu has the food tokens uh, kind of mechanic going on, and this is interesting. Wait, so Larissa, I can expand the city. Olive oil. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to understand the system. This is a bit confusing. Uh. To be honest, I didn't... Oh, okay, okay. So, aha. Uh -huh. This is actually very nice. This a is province a... consists of up to... F yeah, so sh as she was gonna say, a, a province consists now of up to four regions, or like... A region is a city, right? And its surrounding territory. But, wh wherever I go it, within that province, I can actually build everything else. So this is Larissa, right? But I can build Apollonia, expand Apollonia over there. Uh, but I'm gonna build on Apollonia. We want probably some minus two food, 40 wine, public order. Well, from agriculture, provides garrison. No. Should we expand the city? What does this ship write? Gives us provides garrison unlocks recruitment of assault theories hmm harbor maritime six food fishery would give us a lot by the fishing port <clears throat> hmm Although this unlocks recruitment of uh, the javelin men. I wonder 
if I... I like the idea of gentlemen, to be honest. Gentlemen. And it gives us 60 wealth and commercial stuff, uh, plus 120 of, uh, 20 from maritime. We're actually gonna try to be friendly with Carthage, I'm thinking. Hey Carthage. Wait, how much? 22 and 20... 80, okay. Hey Carthage. Do you, uh... May Balhamun look kindly on our meeting this day. Why bandy words when gold is involved? You have it, we like it. So they have... they're importing wine and they're importing timber. But we have olive oil and wine. But what do they produce anyway? Okay, add offer, uh, payments, offer payment. That sounds good. Why bandy oh. words when gold is involved? I'll take you that. You have it. Following a new agreement, a trade route has been opened between you and your new trading partner. Guard it well, as your enemies will attempt to raid it, potentially ruining your economy. Yeah, 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 whatever. And Rome wouldn't collaborate with us, would they? But I mean, where do I see the... their... Okay, Macedon is... Defensive allies with Sparta. Their enemies... Client states. And their their client state is Athens, so they would probably be going for us uh, if we initiate diplomacy with Macedon. I am here to listen. If you speak honestly, truth will be your sharpest weapon. In that trade agreement, what if we get a uh, military a join war a non-aggression pact? A non-aggression pact is a temporary agreement between two factions. Ah, shut up. Hey Carthage, you love us. Speak, friend, and I will share your words with the people of Carthage. Okay, military alliance would be low chance of success, but uh, non-aggression pact. A defensive alliance. A defensive know. alliance is an obligation to support another faction only if it suffers an official declaration of war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Join. Hmm. Military access. No, I don't know. Make clients. We, we can actually form a. What I've heard is that since we're a Greek state, we can form a federation kind of thing. We can uh, make the other Greek states join us uh, in war. But why does it say I can build things? I don't really have money, so why would I... Oh, let's expand the city, though. Yeah, let's expand it. Look at that. Oh, it grew. I love that animation. Oh, I love this game. You have no idea. It's beautiful. And my spy. What can my spy do? My spy can go down to Sparta. I think that should be Swift important. And silent as a shadow. I want to see what they have. Military sabotage. Assassination. I'm gonna try to kill this general. Poison chance of success 46%. I'll try that. I will end them. You deserve better. Ah, oh, she was discovered. What do you wish of me? On the road again. Damn it. Swifter than Hermes. Commander. So this will be the army that will we take on um, Sparta. Ooh, why is it lagging? Uh, that was strange. My, my computer might not take it on altar. I don't know. Uh, okay, so here we can look at the recruitment and let's see, levy pikemen, militia help light. So what do we have? We have. Uh, Eusebius. Uh, right click for further information. Whoops. Oh. Uh, 
Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. One second. Uh, sorry. Uh, okay, yeah. Panlonic Royal Guard. Uh, base morale, melee attack. Not, they don't have a great charge bonus. But, yeah, hoplites. They're, they're basically hoplites. And these are militia hoplites and javelin men. I would want some levy pikemen. Some militia hoplites and levy pikemen, maybe. No, but slingers are good, and I like javelin men. Let's see if we can get... Uh... I mean, we're fighting the Spartans, so they have a pretty good... Let's get some slingers. Soldiering! It's a good life! Yeah, it's a good life. Mm -hmm. At your command. What about you? Can I recruit things to you? We have elephants here, yeah. That's badass. We don't have money though. So uh, I will be going to the technology now. This tab enables you to research. Shh. Yeah. Okay. So there's military technology and civil civil technologies that we need to research, and then there's three trees that we can uh, specialize in. I think since we're at war at this moment, I would rather go for the uh, military technologies first. And here, logistics research rate 102%. I'll go for that, and then we can unlock the research. Uh, otherwise, let's see, technology, diplomacy, trade and finance. Mm, people are happy, aren't they? Why can I see provinces, factions, event? No, I have no idea. There's some way I can look at the... Uh, Happiness trade. Okay, so trade. How's the trade, trade tab details all resources produced across your territory and shows whether they are exported to your trade partners. Also shown are the resources gained from trade partners or those you are yet to acquire. Certain advanced units and buildings require access to these resources before they can be recruited or constructed. So Carthage is. Uh, Importing. Wait, I don't understand this. Who's actually earning money here? Because we're importing and exporting the same things. I have no idea how the trade system really works at the moment. But we're doing the fine. Tab shows us Shh, oh my god. She's. The Faction Summary tab. Ooh, Faction Summary tab. This is what I want to look at. Uh, so there's uh, other families, Molossians. Okay, this is our family. And uh, we... This this isn't really a republic, so we shouldn't... We don't really have factions like the Romans or the um, Carthaginians. However, this actually works pretty nice. We, like we still have like different generals and influence uh, let's see Imperium we can have three armies and two fleets spies one out of one champions dignitaries at war with Sparta trade partners Carthage and Syracuse no. the records tab is used to oh my Ugh. okay so we got an agreement with Carthage general uh huh, stats, interesting. I can actually look at different people. Assassinate to keep promotion. I will have my way in this light. Or the next. Heads of parties cannot be adopted. Yeah, so we don't have any. Uh, I can't see any other people here around at the moment. However, I think that will be all for, Ready for orders. this episode. Unless I can get another trade ag agreement. Let's see. Can we get another trade agreement with someone? Someone? Adrie. No, I'm gonna crush you. You. Rome. Is there absolutely no Welcome, way? But expect scant pleasantries. Okay, so if I. Talk to Sparta. Hey Sparta. Can I talk Welcome. to you? Welcome! 
The day is already old and there is much to do. This option so is a formal... Uh, payments, no. Why don't we... you become a client this state? This option demands that a faction becomes your satrapy or client state. No, they wouldn't accept. No one would accept. I mean, th those are ridiculous terms. Yeah, but uh, I'll go to the next turn. Wait, how do I, why do I, why was th this open? Okay, okay, thank you. Let's go on to the next turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, Rome. Ooh, Rome is doing something. I don't like it. The bravery of men, not words, is all that is between us now. We shall have war and victory. Oh, Macedon has declared war on us. That does not sound good at all. Ah, <sighs> great. We might be crushed. That's that's just great and to know. So that's rather exciting. I have no idea what's going to happen. If I can kill off each army each of their armies like one by one I think I'll, I'll be able to do it Ooh, look at those factions there's so many factions oh this map is like beautiful it's beautiful uh, Ooh, alliance forged Athens and Sparta Manipulation attempt. Rivals have attempted to coax one of your agents into joining them, but your agent uh, remain loyal for now. How may I serve you? I'll try to assassinate him again. Uh, assassination. I Poison. will give them passage. Die. Uh, your agent was not successful, but the effort was not entirely wasted. They were able to recoup. No Increase in rank. Ooh, her abilities have gone up. What do you wish of So I can click here and then I can... household is the object. Shh. Uh, okay, so I, she has actor as a, one of the, her things. Now I can choose agent. All men have a weakness, it just needs to be exposed. Plus one authority. A five chance of critical success in all actions. Spy, plus one cunning, or... Plus uh, five chance of evading enemy agents. Plus one zeal campaign map movement range company general six percent. I'll go for spy. And that so that I really like the upgrade system. I mean Sega and the creative center we have done an amazing job. How may I uh, say on the road again? What else? I was gonna end the episode. That's right. But it's so addicting. And, and now we're at war with Athens, Macedon, and Sparta. Do you think we will be able to survive? Uh, I think we might, maybe, or not. I have no idea. We'll, we'll have to see. The, oh, look at these hop hoplites. Ready for uh, battle! But that will be for the next episodes, guys. I'll have to cut it off here. Suspense in suspense. And if you don't know, if you're not a total war person, then you don't or like you don't know what total war is. We actually fight the battles on the ground, and we see thousands of troops moving around, which is really awesome. And that's what we'll be having next time, probably against Athens or Macedon or everyone. And we might get completely crushed, but that's doubtful. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.